Hello and welcome to another Porteous Linux tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing how to use modules. Um, modules is one of the it's one of the unique things to Porteous Linux. Uh, it makes it a little bit different from other Linux distributions that will usually have a package manager that just manages regular packages. To start things off I'm going to start with super user privileges by typing the su command. The default password is tour, that's T-O-O-R, and we're gonna do USM TAC U all. Just like that. And while it's updating, I'll show you guys the man page of USM for those of you who are unfamiliar. We just did this command here, USM tech you all to update all databases. This is a good way to start off any session before you start installing software. The TAC-K flag can be used to search for a package name with a certain keyword. The S flag can search for packages by name. I can give you different information on the package, uh, additional info. And G is to download or you can think of it as to get or grab. So the first package we're going to be uh, installing is going to be HTOP. So we do USM tech G HTOP. HTOP is a great utility I've used on other Linux distributions. It doesn't come with Porteous by default, so that's okay because we can make it come on Porteous. I hit yes. I hit enter to start downloading. I leave custom path blank. You'll see why in a minute. So because I left it blank, my package has been installed to the slash temp slash usm directory. I could cd to that directory using the cd command slash temp slash usm. Now if I do ls, I can see my package is installed right here with a .txz extension. That's great for Slackware. Unfortunately, Porteous needs to modify it a little bit to make it into a compressed module. Actually, I might even say that's a fortunate thing. It's what makes Porteous good. So we use a utility called txz to xem. And for certain parts of this tutorial, I should warn you that you'll need devel tools enabled. But we're just going to give it the name of our package with the .txz extension. And what this is going to do is it's going to convert the txz package into an xem module. So now if I type ls, you can still see we have our original txz package, but we also have an xem module. This we can use in Porteous. We can activate it just simply by typing activate htop and make sure we activate the one with the .xem extension. And we get a prompt saying well done. So now let's make sure it works. So we type htop into the command line. Sure enough, it outputs the application's working. Uh, everything looks good. You can see I have it shows my memory usage, swap space, which I have none. It also shows my CPU usage for all my threads. Also shows my top running applications. So we can close out of that by hitting Control plus C. And now all we need to do is make sure this persists across a reboot. So what I need to do is I need to move this htop package, the one with the xem extension, and we want to put it in the mount, mount directory uh, to the disk that we have Porteous installed to. So if you double tap the tab key, you'll see a list of output of all the drives we can write to. SDA1 and SDA2 are partitions on my internal hard drive. Live is pretty much RAM. The MMCBLK0P1, that's my SD card. SR0 is my optical drive. SDB1 is the flash drive I have Porteous installed to. I can confirm that by typing in SDB1, double tapping the tab key, and you can see my Porteous folder is right in here. So I go to my Porteous folder, and then I go to Modules. And then all I have to do is hit Enter. And now, if I do ls slash mount sdb1 Porteous modules, you'll see I now have htop right there. 
which means it's going to activate every time I reboot my system. So I will always have HTOP. If I didn't want it, I could have just removed it or left it alone and it wouldn't have persisted across the reboot. Now, uh, from this point, we no longer need our .txe package. We know HTOP works well, so we could just remove it with the rm command giving our package name.